how to do a glide reflection tessellation. It's very similar to the translation one that we've already done, um, but there's one key difference in that you will uh, reflect one of the sides and only one of those sides. So the first thing you're going to want to do um, is I recommend sketching some sort of a shape, probably from corner to corner. Um, that's what I recommend. So going maybe from this side to this side, I am just going to sketch something real quick here. The more detailed you are, the more awesome your uh, shape will look like at the end. So right now I'm just going to cut this out. And just like in class, when I'm done cutting out, I'm going to take a second and just look at it, make sure it's still facing the same way, it fits in perfectly. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate it to the top side, so the opposite side, except this time, instead of taping it right away, I'm actually going to flip this over. So I'm, I can see the pencil mark now. I'm going to flip it over so that it's facing the other direction, and now I will tape it on. So this is what gives me that reflection part of, the, of, the, of this tessellation. So this is that key difference um, from the previous one. Now on the other side, you know, this is still pretty boring, the fact that it's flat. So I am going to cut something out from one corner to the other corner. But when I translate this one, I will not reflect it. You can only reflect one side of your template. Otherwise, it will not fit in, and you will not be able to tessellate the entire plane. So again, I'm going to line this back up. I see that this came from this side right here. So I'm going to translate it over and tape it to the, the other side. Notice that I did not reflect it this time. One of the things I mentioned in class is that you may want to first trace this template onto a more sturdy material, like a part of a cereal box or maybe a tissue box, something with a light cardboard, so that when you're tracing this over and over again, you're not starting to tear apart your template. So when I trace this on my paper, I'm still going to be able to go left and right like normal. This piece will fit in right here. But when I try to trace above this again, this piece actually came from the right side, so I'm going to have to reflect my template in order to trace it. So every other row is going to be facing the other direction.